What's up everyone? So as you guys know already, when it comes to dealing with real life, shit ain't easy. Um, day to day life, you know, anything can happen, you know, whether it's urinary tract infections, bowel issues, you name it. Um, another one of those issues is uh, dealing with power wheelchairs, manual wheelchairs, what, ha what have you. Things can go wrong with them, just like a car. Um, if something goes wrong with your power wheelchair, you have to get a loaner. And that's what happened with mine recently. My lugs on my, my left drive tire sheared off. And I don't really know how it happened, but they said that there was a weak spot on the right as well. So it's almost like a blessing in disguise that something that it did, it did happen. And I noticed when Kristen was getting ready to leave the one day that they were sitting in my driveway, both side by side. And I was like, well, so I thought they were uh, my mom's boyfriend's uh, lugs off his car. So I asked him, he said, no, whatever, he didn't think they were. <laughs> Here I'm sitting in a power wheelchair with wheels and they happen to just be mine. And uh, so I called my wheelchair place and they brought me out a loner chair. Bring around the loner. The loner? The loner. That quite honestly sucks. Um, it's two inches bigger than my normal chair. I don't feel secure in it. The pedals themselves, the guy kind of just upped and left without even like adjusting them for me. So you can see how my left is just. Anyone mar want a margarita? <laughs> it's just ridiculously loud and I don't know. Anyways, so I only have, I should only have it for a couple more days. They two day ship the parts. Uh, free of charge. They upgraded the shipping, so that was kind of cool. They should have them Tuesday tomorrow, and then uh, I should have mine back Wednesday. Hopefully that happens. Hopefully they don't run into any more issues with it. But another thing that happened is there's an egg switch right on the side of this chair that I can control the... You can show it if you want to, or if you can see it up in there. Don't mind my cup holder. Um, if you guys can see that black egg switch right up in here, um, it, it cycles through the... Uh, the speeds and the uh, tilt and recline uh, functions and stuff like that. Well, they didn't put enough slack on that cord and that cord had snapped. Yeah, if you guys can see the end of that, that cord actually snapped. Um, so the rest of it's behind my chair, but um, I didn't really use it. I can kind of use my left hand, my old control hand to reach over and hit this, um, which cycles through as well. You don't have to show it, it's fun. Um, but it is kind of a pain in the ass. Another thing with this loner chair, um, that, and I, don't get me wrong, they, they don't have chairs that are set to everyone, um, to everyone else, everyone's different. So obviously this chair was made for somebody else and it was just kind of sitting around and whatever it, they had it just sitting there. So they gave it to me as a loner. Um, but, it's like my old, like you get set to one chair, you get a loner chair and it's like when you get in a car and you go to reach for the gear shift down here and it's not there because it's always up here in your car, something like that. Um, with this chair, everything is different. It takes a lot to get used to. Even the helpers have to get used to it, which sucks also. Um, the height is different, the width is different, you name it, it's different. Um, but like I said, uh, silver lining is I can still get out of bed. I can still get up and do things. Um, I don't really trust getting in a vehicle with it because I don't feel stable enough. They didn't give me a, a chest belt, which I guess I should have one on hand, but that's right, beside the point. So uh, another thing with this chair I don't care for. I don't know if it's a uh, setting in the control box or not, or in the chair itself. But the day I got it, I leaned back. I actually had a really bad UTI and I had a real bad fever. And I was just kind of chilling and trying to get comfortable. And it sucked having a UTI and being really uncomfortable with a chair that's really uncomfortable. So it's kind of like a double-edged crappy sword. But um, when I was just chilling backwards, I like leaned back, the chair actually turned off. And luckily my mom was here and I could grab my cell phone and messenger and she came out and turned it back on whatever but I don't know if that's a setting but just about every 20 minutes or so if you don't monkey with the joystick it will shut off why that's a thing with a power chair I don't really know but 
like I said, hopefully it should be here uh, Wednesday or Thursday. Hoping, fingers crossed, uh, you name it. So I just wanted to point out that there's other things that um, some don't think about that go along with uh, uh, quad life, para life, whatever you want to call it, that um, people have to deal with. I mean, it's just what it is. So, well, I just wanted to give you guys a rundown of what's going on, a little update and stuff like that. So, uh, hopefully you guys uh, don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell to get notified of my most recent uploads. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Update. Reunited and it feels so good.